Take two. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. This is take two of today's video. I actually filmed it earlier, uploaded it, and one of my lovely subscribers reached out via Instagram and let me know that after about the three minute mark, my video went completely black. I don't know what happened. It was there when I uploaded it originally, so I'm not sure what happened. I did re-look at the file and she was correct. It was black, there was no saving the footage. So this is take two a re-record of a video that I already recorded. So no big deal, I know exactly what I need to say in today's video. So before we jump in, again, if you are new to my channel and you love these Friday weigh-ins, please give my video a big thumbs up. It really, really helps out my channel and of course it means a lot to me. Also, if you're new or not yet subscribed, please hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it. Help me hit my 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm this close. Make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I do personalized macro and calorie calculation as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. Hey, macro and calorie calculation and coaching is actually a great gift. Take advantage of it for yourself and for your loved ones. So definitely check that out over on my website. Links and discount codes to all of my favorite things are also in the description box along with my Facebook group. We would absolutely love to to have you. We are 17,000 members strong and there's a lot of fun coming your way in the new year on my Facebook group. So head on over and join us. Happy Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas. We are in full swing. So make sure you're checking back here on my channel every day for a new video. So let's jump in to a re-record of my WW weigh-in and the workshop topic recap. If you happen to miss last week's weigh-in video, I shared with you that I decided I needed a little bit of a break. A break from dieting, a break from tracking, and I decided to finish out the rest of 2020. I was not going to be tracking. I know my body. I know what I need to eat. I kind of know the foods that I choose throughout the day that help me reach my protein goal and stay within my calorie deficit. And I just honestly needed a little bit of a break from recording everything that I ate. So this was actually the first full week of no tracking for me. And you know what? It went really well. There were some positives. There were some negatives as far as no tracking. So first let's talk about positives. So some of the positives were it was very freeing. I really truly felt free, free of having to track all of my food. But with that freeing feeling, I was still mindful. And again, I knew what I needed to eat every day to hit my protein goal and to be in a calorie deficit. Now, do I know 100% that I was in a calorie deficit? No. Do I know that I hit my protein goal every day? No, because I didn't track, but I'm pretty confident that I did well this last week. And a negative for me was in the beginning of the week, with the freeing feeling, I kind of felt myself wanting to slip back into old habits where I just kind of ate whatever. And I luckily caught myself after about the first day and said, absolutely not. Just because you're not tracking doesn't mean your body doesn't track. Your body knows what you're eating. So make sure that you're eating like you would if you were tracking. And by telling myself that, I kind of snapped out of it and went back into eating healthy, eating a lot of protein, staying in my calories, staying in my points, and I was able to snap right back into it. So I feel really good about my last week, to be honest with you. I got in my exercise. I did jazzercise three times last week, which is always my goal. It was a pretty busy week, and like I mentioned, we have a bathroom renovation going on, so that's just busy. There's people in my house all the time. We can't go work out in studio right now, so I have to do it at home and let's be honest, who wants to work out in front of construction people? So I tried to do my best to work around that and still get my three workouts in. So overall, I would say that it was a win. I'm definitely going to share with you what the scale said, and let's see if the scale agreed with me that it was a win this last week. But before we jump into my way, and let's talk about what we talked about at this week's workshop. The fan favorite series is over. They're no longer doing that. So they have a new topic for us this week, and I actually really like it. It is called a fresh 
perspective. Winter can be daunting and frustrating and tiring and depressing. It's cold outside. It gets dark 10 hours after the light came up for the day and it can just really throw us off course. If you're someone who likes to walk outside, maybe that time is over for you. For me, there's snow on the ground. So if my form of activity was walking, it's a little more challenging in the winter. I find myself wanting to cozy up at home and be a little more lazy, if that's the term, during the winter months. So we need to really think about a fresh perspective when it comes to winter and how we can make winter as successful as the nicer times of the year. So WW is sharing five tips on how to give winter a fresh perspective. And actually all of these tips, in my opinion, are excellent. Tip number one, if you are someone who needs fresh air, if you are someone, again, who likes to do your physical activity outside, maybe you just enjoy taking a little walk every single day. The best time of the day to still do this, no matter what climate you're in, is around lunchtime. That's generally the warmest part of the day. It's still light outside. If the sun is going to shine, it's generally shining around lunchtime. So that's a great time to go out and take a little breather of fresh air. Take a little walk, even if it means down the block, around the block. Depending on the weather, you can take a full walk outside. But if you're going to take advantage of the fresh air, the sunshine, and the warmest part of the day, that's generally around lunchtime. Tip number two is create a designated indoor workout space. Even if it's small, even if it's literally the rug in your living room, create a designated space to work out every day. It's going to help keep you motivated to continue doing your workouts. And you can fancy up the space by getting a really cute basket to hold your yoga mat or your hand weights or your, or your towel or your water bottle. Maybe grab a cute little table to put your fan on and to store your water bottle during your workout. Just make an indoor workout space that's inviting, that makes you want to work out, and something that when you're at home, it's there front and center so that it motivates you and ignites that spark in you to get your workout in. Tip number three is before you go to bed, take a little bit of time for self-care. It is so important right now, especially with everything going on in our world and it being winter, to get in a little bit of extra self-care. Maybe that means turning the TV off, putting your phone away 30 minutes to an hour before bed and reading a good book or maybe just sipping on a cup of warm tea or low calorie hot chocolate or something that just makes you feel warm and cozy and comfortable. For me, that would most likely involve snuggling Diesel and Lola. That brings me so much joy and happiness and it does help me relax before I go to bed every night. But take some time for yourself 30 to 60 minutes before bed without TV and without phones, laptops, or computers. Tip number four is set a new wake-up time. It stays dark later into the morning. It gets dark earlier in the evening. So this is a perfect time to actually catch up on your sleep. If you are someone who feels pretty sleep deprived, this is a great time to just set your alarm clock for an hour later, especially on the weekends or if you can swing it during the week, give yourself that extra hour of sleep. If you feel like you're getting in a good amount of sleep, then take a little bit of time every morning to meditate or to breathe deeply, or to really focus on your goals and strategies throughout the day. Again, a little bit of self-care every single morning. It could be for 10 minutes. If you feel like you're getting enough sleep, just give yourself five to 10 minutes in the morning to set yourself up for a successful day. And tip number five is get creative with your indoor workouts. You have this great indoor workout space, or maybe you don't. So what do you do to get in a little bit of activity while you're stuck at home? Some great tips are take the stairs. You can even run the stairs in your home. Now for me, I don't have stairs, but what I have been known to do and what I continue to do is I will housewalk. I will walk a lap throughout my entire home. Sometimes I've even been known to just walk laps around the island in my kitchen, but you can get in some activity at home. Another great tip is to stand up more than you're sitting down. So if you're on a Zoom call or a work call or you're on a the phone with a friend or a family member, stand up instead of sit down. It takes our body more energy to stand and it helps burn a little more calories by standing versus sitting. So I think these five tips from WW are great. I think it is important to have a fresh perspective. I think every month or two, you should get a fresh perspective on life, on your weight loss goals, on your healthy lifestyle, on your food. Just always keep it fresh and exciting. That's what keeps us committed to a program or committed to a diet is by keeping it fresh and exciting. Taking diet breaks is okay, kind of like what I'm doing right now. I'm still trying to remain in a calorie deficit. I'm just taking 
taking a break from tracking. And those types of things are okay. It's okay to take breaks as needed. Remember to focus on self-care and give yourself a little bit of extra love during the winter. So I shared with you guys how my week went. I felt good. I felt 85% good about my week. There was a few things that I could work on, like I mentioned, and I plan on doing that moving into this next week. But when I hopped on the scale today, I am up 0.1. So essentially, I maintained my weight, which is exactly what my goal was for the next few weeks up until the new year. Now, I have some great goals coming your way for 2021. I'm just giving myself a little bit of a break during the holiday season. So I think that my success this last week resonated on the scale. I maintained my weight. Now, what are my goals for this next week? I am planning on continuing to exercise. I would like to get in even an extra day, maybe four, and I'm going to be even more mindful of what I'm eating to ensure I am in a calorie deficit. Because honestly, I'd like to see the scale go down just maybe a slight bit this next week. Point this, point that is completely fine with me, but I think I do want to see a little bit of movement on the scale just to see if I really truly know my body and know that basically intuitively eating still can produce positive results for me. So now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? How are you feeling moving into the holidays? Are you feeling energized and motivated about your weight loss journey or your healthy lifestyle or working out? Just let me know down in the comments how you're feeling. I absolutely love interacting with you guys down in the comment section. Also, let me know what your goals are. What are your goals moving through the rest of 2020? I have so many great things coming your way in 2021. So definitely, definitely make sure that you are subscribed. You're not gonna wanna miss some of the fun. Also head over and join my Facebook group. There'll be lots of fun announcements there as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you like these chit chats, talking about the workshop topics, sharing my way in and kind of how my week went. And of course, check out that description box for nutrition coaching and all of the links and discount codes to my favorite things. Happy Friday. Happy Vlogmas. I hope you guys are doing well, giving yourself a little bit of extra love this season because I love each and every one of you so much. Thank you for all of your love and support this last year. And of course, I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. We have a good one. Have a great day, you guys. Bye. See you